Okay, I've got LTM 6.9 up and running, which is an older version of LTM. Doing a design, and in the design, I require a couple of different components. And most people seem to say that rather than trying to find those components, it's easier to design your own in a library. Okay. So I've noticed a few bugs coming up running Altium 6.9 on a Windows 10 machine, but it seems to be mostly still working. So I've got a, my schematic library here, which is open. And if I click on Okay, so I've got a few items that I've made. The latest one is this one. So the first thing I do actually is I find this image online and save it to my drive. Then you can go place graphic. So you place that graphic first. Then you draw a rectangle and you set the rectangle to be transparent. And then you add the pin. So you go place pin. Normally I, I place pin zero on the side and I delete it later and I, and I start numbering from one because most of the pin outs start from pin one. They don't start from pin zero. And also when you place the pin, you can press the shift button to rotate it so that it has the numbers facing inwards, which makes a much cleaner image um, and then I go and I design the PCB board component. So going back to projects, opening up this one, and going to the PCB library, you can see I've done a few like this. Instantly, I've designed the entire NI Elvis board layout as a component with the edge connector, which is kind of neat. Um, going to here. So what I've done is I've manually created this component. You've got tools, new blank component. And by the way, before for schematic, it was also new blank component. There is a footprint wizard, but I found I couldn't find the through hole components on the footprint wizard. So I've just gone new blank component um, and manually laid out those pins using the information I got off the data sheet for the spacing. And what I find easy is if you set the grid width to exactly the same as the pin spacing, it's easier to put all your pins out first. And again, I number from one to 14 and that's it. And put some text there on the top layer and save that. So I'm going back to the Schematic library, which looks like it needs saving. Um, then I go add footprint and I browse in my library that I've created for the footprint that I want. And uh, so footprints are great. So not just if you're doing single components, you can see an example here. I've got a 12 volt read, read, read relay with a status indicator LED attached to that as well. And by making that whole thing as a component, it simplifies my circuit board layout. And then last thing is, so you've got name and type. You can actually edit the type to be um, power or input or output. And you can change the display name as well and give it an actual name. Now there is a way of doing that a little bit faster. Uh, if you go to here, uh, let me see if I can remember, there is a video about this. Is it list? View. Okay, there is a video where you can copy the pinouts from a data table and input them in on bulk 
into this table here, which is what I did for this component because there was quite a lot of information there. And then it labeled all that for me automatically. Uh, what else can I show you? If I go to projects, it's probably going to put up one of those error messages again. There you go. Don't know why that's happening. And here's my circuit board. So you can see by putting in those images in the components, it really helps explain what's going on with that component design that I've done. And it makes it a lot easier to read the schematic. Also, um, doing nets. So when you're drawing your wires, use nets to give those connections a net name and the pin the same net name. Uh, anything else I can talk about? So, for example, here, by just doing a little extension wire and adding a net name, I don't have to draw this wire all the way to the end point over here. And it just makes for a cleaner circuit layout. Otherwise, there would be just a mass of wires here, and it would be much harder to, to read this circuit. Okay, I think that'll do for now.